Hello there, boys and girls. Welcome to IT TV. In our lesson today, I'll be explaining to you further about irregular polygons. If you remember in our earlier lessons, I was speaking to you more about regular polygons. In today's lesson, we'll be discovering how irregular polygons will pose us problems that we need to attend. Let us now look into the issues of irregular polygons. Now, when finding the unknown angles in irregular polygons, the sum of all the angles of the polygons need to be performed first. Then the unknowns can be found. So therefore, what I'm trying to say to you here is, in order for us to discover the values of the unknowns in a particular irregular polygon, the first step is to obtain the sum of angles in that particular irregular polygon. The next step is to find for the said unknown. Let us look into some common questions. Find the value of x. Well, boys and girls, if you look into our first question, we have an irregular polygon. How do we solve for x? In our earlier lesson, in the beginning of our lesson, I did mention to you that in order for us to solve for x, the first step that we have to take is to find the sum of interior angles inside this irregular polygon. So in order for us to do this sum, I have to find what is the sum or the total of the interior angles. Before I can proceed further, I got to find the number of sides. Let's count together. We have one side, two sides, three sides and four sides. So this is a four side irregular polygon. Why is it irregular? Because the values of the angles are different. Therefore, if you remember, in order for us to find the sum of angles in a polygon, the formula to be used is n minus 2 times 180. Since we have four sides, 4 minus 2 times 180, we have 2 times 180, we have 360 degrees. Therefore, the sum of the interior angles is 360 degrees. Then the next step is to suggest or to show that the sum of these angles is equals to 360. So 56 plus 121 plus 80 plus X should give you 360. So therefore X equals to 360 minus all these values, then the value of X should be read as 103 degrees. So these are the steps to do in order for us to obtain the value of X. Let me reiterate, the first step is to find the sum of angles in that particular polygon. The next step here is to find for the value of X. Let's now look to the next question. Find the value of X. Well, boys and girls, let's look to our second question. Like the first question, we have unknowns inside this uh, irregular polygon. How are, we, how are we going to solve the problem? First step is we need to find the sum of angles. To do that, I need to find how many sides are there to this polygon. Let's count together. We have one, two, three, four, five five sides so therefore the formula is 5 minus 2 times 180 I should obtain 540 degrees this is the total interior angle so therefore using the equation here x plus x plus x should give me 3x plus 108 plus 120 should give you 540 so 3x equals to 540 minus the total sum on this side I should have 3x equals to 312 and the value of 1x is 104 degrees. This is how we do the same question. So if you look into this question, it is almost very similar. The steps are, firstly, I need to find the sum of angles. Secondly, I solve the problem for the unknowns. Let's proceed to the next question.